When we started manufacturing antibiotics at an industrial scale and using them in much greater quantities and in much greater concentrations, then antibiotic resistance really started to develop. And that's because the environments that those bacteria found themselves in were, were awash with antibiotics and it was the resistant ones that were better able to survive. Antibiotic resistance doesn't affect our day-to-day -day lives too much. We can still go to a GP and they'll still prescribe penicillin, one of the first antibiotics to be manufactured, and it will still work unless you're very unlucky. Where it does affect us is in hospital environments. To improve MRSA within the, the hospital setting, uh, we've uh, implemented things, so staff education, so washing their hands every time between patients, ensuring that patients' relatives, when they come and visit uh, patients, they also wash their hands, uh, both before and after visiting the patients. Also monitoring um, the antibiotics that we're prescribing, ensuring it's appropriate antibiotic uh, and it's for the appropriate duration. The other things we do is pre-op patient care, so we screen all patients prior to surgery to ensure that they haven't got uh, uh, the MRSA bug prior to surgery. There was a tendency for farmers to, to use antibiotics to increase the, the weight of the farm animal even if it wasn't sick. Western governments, the European Union have really cracked down on this uh, and in fact from 2021 there's a European Union directive which prohibits the use of prophylactic antibiotics in farming so stopping those healthy animals getting antibiotics and hopefully that will reduce the selection pressure for antibiotic resistance around those farms. In the past, surgery was not routinely performed because of the serious risk of deep infection. If we then allow these antibiotics not to function because of drug resistance, we come, go back in time to a situation where surgery becomes a major challenge for the patient. The very worst that can happen, the nightmare scenario with antibiotic resistance, is that we are plunged back into a pre-antibiotic age when antibiotics become worthless, when we're unable to defeat bacterial diseases, even in the community, even outside hospital environments, and we'd be back into that era where tuberculosis, where diphtheria, where pneumonia were massive killers. <laughs>